I'm thinking today of John chapter 3, verse 2. And I confess, this is one of my favorite chapters of the Bible. It's where Nicodemus comes to see Jesus. John chapter 3, verse 2. This man came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you have come from God as a teacher, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. This is a summary of the logic that Jesus is who he says because he does what he does. Let me say that again. This is a summary of the logic that Jesus is who he says he is because he does what he does. People are not defined by their actions, but their actions do certainly testify to their identity, or at least they should. A stealer is a thief. But this is not so if the person is saved. Identity and action are closely linked. But in the case of spiritual identity, spirituality can be defined by something other than day-to-day action, something more powerful, something more real. And that's exactly what Jesus did in us. Our spirituality, to whom we belong, for whom we are working, these things are dependent on what Jesus did not what you did, not what you did, not because you made a decision or prayed a prayer, but because Jesus did what he did, died on the cross for sins, invited you into relationship, and you accepted that free gift. Now live for him. Let nothing stand in the way. Let your actions testify of who you are, just as Jesus' actions testified of who he was. God bless you as you serve him.